We are so grateful to have the opportunity to join together today with our friends, family, and community in Kylie's name. Though we gather together, grief and healing is such a personal and individual thing. Today we will honor Kylie in honoring each other and holding each other up as we grieve in our own ways. We'll laugh, dance, share stories, songs, and poetry, or maybe we'll cry in a corner <laughs> or at the podium. It's all okay. We'll remember and we'll create new memories as we all learn how to move forward in a world where we miss her. We are so blessed to be able to miss her together and to walk together into tomorrow. The way that she has brought everyone together, even in death, is a legacy that I will cherish forever. I'm hearing stories about people wanting to be nicer to each other in her memory. Kylie's dear friend recently told her mom that before all of this happened, she thought the word community had no real meaning, that it didn't really exist. But after Kylie went missing, the way our community showed up in full force showed her that it in fact is so very real and so, so powerful. That kind of impact on our teens gives me hope. The demonstration of strength and togetherness and the way that they have an army of supporters standing behind them will carry them far as they enter adulthood. We would like to thank everyone who has come together to support us in what we hope will be the most difficult time of our lives. There's no way that we'll be able to ever return the kindness, generosity, and compassion that has been extended to us over the last month, but we will live the rest of our lives trying, and in that trying, Kylie will be with us, reminding us to be kind, laugh, and sing, and that sometimes it's even okay to cry. In closing, I want to thank our media friends for respecting our request to give us privacy while we celebrate my daughter today. Unfortunately, the social media frenzy has become such a monster that our teens are suffering and we want to create a safe space for them to heal together without fear of something being taken out of context. To anyone who gains pleasure or satisfaction from commenting online, I ask you to take a moment to look inward and to try to recognize your motive. Remember the three gates that all words should flow through. Is it kind? Is it true? Is it helpful? I implore you to remember that there is honor in silence and there is kindness in minding your own business. You are talking about the death of my child. our community's child. It's time to let our children mourn their friend quietly, peacefully. I hope you can find other more beautiful and helpful ways to spend your time and remember Kylie. Call your mom, take a walk, pick up a new hobby. Please know we got this. Let her rest.